Hello, mathematicians. Today we are talking about independent and dependent events. So we're going to start with independent events, which means that there is one event that does not affect the other event. So we're going to have two events, and one does not affect the probability of the other one. So for an example, if we're choosing a quarter, it doesn't affect tossing heads. So we have two or more quarters, and we're picking one, doesn't matter which one, the probability of tossing heads is going to be the same no matter which quarter we pick. So the probability of independent events is the probability of A and B equals the probability of A times the probability of B. So we have A is our first event, B is our second event. We want to find the probability of both of those happening. So we find the probability of just the first event and multiply it by the probability of just the second event. So our examples. We have a spinner and it has three sections, A, B, and C. The spinner is spun and a dice is rolled. So those are our two events, the spinner and the dice. So first, we want to find the probability of rolling a four and spinning an A. So spinning the spinner and rolling the dice are not going to affect each other. So this is definitely going to be an independent event. So we need to think about our equation, the probability of A and B, so the probability of our two events, and figure out what we need to do. So we have four and A. Is four gonna go with the spinner or the dice? Right, the dice. So rolling a four is gonna be our first event. So we need to find the probability of rolling a four which you guys should know how to do. So on bottom, what do we need? Our total, and how many total sides does our dice have? Six. And on top, what number am I gonna put? A one. Because a four is just one side of our six-sided dice. So the probability of rolling a four is one out of six. So we have the probability of rolling a four. What's next? We need to find the probability of the second event. And which one is our second event? Spinning A on our spinner. So we need to find the probability of spinning an A. So on bottom, we need our total. So how many total sides does our spinner have? three. And how many sides, or how many is A on our spinner? It's just one section. So now we have the probability of four and the probability of A. So we have our two events. Now what do we need to go back and do? Well, looking at our equation, we want the probability of the two events. We have both of them, so we need to multiply them together. So we're going to have probability of 4 times the probability of A. So the probability of 4 was 1 over 6 times the probability of A was 1 over 3. So we're multiplying fractions. We need to go straight across the top and straight across the bottom. So on the top, 1 times 1 is what? one, and on the bottom, six times three is what? 18. So our probability of rolling a four and spinning an A is one out of 18. All right, our next example. We wanna find the probability of rolling an odd number on our dice and spinning a B on our spinner. So these are two events that aren't related, so they're gonna be independent. And they're both different events. So you can go back and look at your equation to figure it out. 
So go ahead and try this one on your own. All right, let's see how you did. So we wanna find the probability of rolling an odd number on our dice and spinning a B on our spinner. So what is our first event? Right, the probability of odd. So we're thinking about our dice. We know how many total sides it has, which is how many? Six. And now we want to think about the number of odd numbers on our dice. So we have one, three, and five. So how many is that? Three. Three odd numbers on our dice. So what's wrong with three over six? Right, it can be simplified. So what can we divide both three and six by? Three. So what's three divided by three? One. And what's six divided by three? Two. So the probability of rolling an odd number on our dice is one half. But we're not done yet. What is our second event? The probability of spinning a B. So we're on our spinner again, so we need to look at our total number of sections. What was our total number of sections? Three. And how many sections is B? One. So the probability of spinning a B is one third. So we have our two probabilities, but we wanna find the total probability of getting an odd and a B. So what do I need to do? I need to multiply the two probabilities together. So probability of odd times probability of B is gonna be one half times one third. We're multiplying fractions, we go straight across the top and straight across the bottom. So on top, one times one should give us one, and two times three should give us six. So our probability of rolling an odd number and spinning a B on a spinner is one sixth.